Welcome YouTube, I'm Jason. I'm Louie. With Sin City Living, today's episode of Vegas Vice, we're going to talk about uh, sports oppor opportunities, not sports opportunities, sports viewing opportunities out here in Vegas. Uh, most people know that uh, five, ten years ago, Vegas had pretty much nothing except for for uh, college, college sports. sports, for UNLV. We also um, had a, uh, arena football. Oh, okay. Arena football back. <laughs> arena football was actually fairly entertaining. It wasn't yeah. bad. We used to have a, um, a team called the Las Vegas Gladiators. Oh, I remember hearing about them. Yeah. Yep. Yep, that was that that was actually a pretty entertaining league. I, I actually did enjoy the few games of that I, I saw. Um, so for a while, Vegas was very very dry on sports, and a lot of people questioned that. Like, you know, it's Vegas. How are they not not heavy on sports? And I I used to have a personal theory that it was because of being the only legalized sports betting place. They were worried about uh, corruption. Although the fact that sports gambling is illegal or was illegal in the other 49 states always made me wonder why the newspapers always printed the lines if it was uh, illegal. Anyway, right. uh, but Vegas has come a long way now. Um, obviously, our personal gold standard for Las Vegas, the Golden Knights. And the Golden Knights did something that no team has ever done before. They were uh, an expansion team that made it all the way to the Stanley Cup. They were actually the favorites in the Stanley Cup, although they did end up losing. But no expansion team has ever come anywhere even close to that level of success in any sport. So the Golden Knights are definitely Vegas's uh, gold standard as far as professional sports go, but we've also added another professional team in a different league. Oh, we got the Las Vegas Raiders, baby. Football. And the, the arena? The arena looks pretty nice. I, I, I'm not going to go so far as to say I'm a Raiders fan. I am uh, just spent a lot of time in Southern California, so I'm definitely not a Raiders fan, but... Um, <laughs> At least with the Golden Knights, I can still support my, my local uh, town. Uh, but the arena, they built it very quickly, even with this pandemic going on. And the arena, is, it's really nice. Huge. It's really, really nice. Um, it's, it's pretty awesome. The, the screen on the outside of the arena is basically the entire one side of the arena. It's a screen about the size that I wish my TV screen in my living room was. Um, it's, it's, it is. It's an absolutely beautiful arena i can't wait till the pandemic is over and we can actually start finding out how it looks inside yeah i would like to i'm not a, i'm not the biggest football fan but i would like to go to a raider game definitely just go check out the arena firsthand it should be interesting if i ever go check out the arena i'm thinking it probably won't be a raiders game it'll probably be something else they'll do there maybe a concert or or an event or something because i'm sure they're going to try and monetize that arena a lot more right, than right. uh eight weeks a year um now, while we're talking about the Raiders, owner of the Raiders has also just put in a bid to buy the Las Vegas Aces, which is the WNBA, local WNBA team. And the Aces are actually, uh, as far as WNBA goes, they're a very good team. They made it all the way to the championship game last year. Um, they're projected to be one of the, the better teams this year and in multiple years going forward. So if you're a WNBA fan, we do have the Aces as well. He's uh, trying to buy them from, I believe it's, MGM that currently owns the Aces. They bought them, and that's why they play at one of the MGM arenas. Okay. Um, but that's that's uh, our third professional sports team. If you uh, if you're interested, I do wish we had an NBA team. I'm a longtime NBA fan, but uh, but we're getting there now that we have uh, a hockey team, a fantastic, unbelievable, record-setting hockey team, and then a football team, our WNBA team, and then. Uh, Louis' personal favorite. Oh, uh, we got combat sports. It's the five capital of the world, baby. Las Vegas. We got we hold a ton of UFC events, a ton of uh, kickboxing, and of course boxing events. Anytime we there is a mega fight, it, it's always held in Las Vegas. Granted, you have big fights over in you know the over in New York, Madison Square Garden, but Las Vegas is the fight capital of the world. They just built that. Um, the UFC Apex Center uh, a couple years back, and they've been hosting fights there left and right throughout the entire uh, during the quarantine, actually. And uh, uh, the UFC was one of the, if not the, only sport of, of you know MMA, of course, to host li uh, live events still, to host or any event. Uh, granted, there was zero audience, you know, there was no crowd there, but still, they were hosting events and putting out shows on. Uh, on ESPN and of course pay-per-view. Um, yeah, the uh, anytime there's an event out here, they. Blah, blah, blah. 
anytime there is an event out here, they usually host it down at the T-Mobile Arena. And I've actually been to uh, uh, a UFC event myself uh, down at the T-Mobile Arena. Very nice there, actually. Very nice. I believe that's where the uh, Golden Knights play their hockey games, if I'm if I'm, uh, yes. if I'm correct. Yes, Golden Knights play there. And, and uh, yeah, it's it's... It's pretty awesome, and, and you know UFC. Well, I don't watch the UFC anymore. I started watching it UFC with UFC one, and <laughs> watched the the first probably. He was like fifteen of them. He was like thirty five um, <laughs> when UFC uh, one came out. Right? Um, <laughs> and watched it pretty much ever since. And went, went into the Pride Pride Fighting Championships. Watched those. Oh, yeah. uh, uh, kind of the golden era of. I remember Tito Ortiz's first fight where he wasn't even paid. He was fighting. His, fighting as an amateur, or fighting on pace so as not to lose his amateur status. Uh, I remember uh, he was a, he was, a he was skinny, too. Right? He, he was, was, a, he I, don't, was I don't remember exactly how it went out, but he, he was unpaid for the first one because he didn't want to lose his amateur mm -hmm. status because uh, I think he may have still been in college as a yeah, wrestler. Wrestling. And then, uh, our, you know, the first few, uh, uh, Hoist Gracie's, uh, Chemo, uh, Oleg Tiktarov, um, I actually got away from it when it just became too many. When it was when there's one going on every single week, it's really tough to get really invested in in the fighters and oh, and yeah. all that without getting super deep into it like like some of the the football and baseball fanatics are. Which I'm I'm not. Right. I, I have other things I want to do, unfortunately. Um, but UFC is definitely the the Vegas is definitely the the UFC capital for sure. And like he was saying, boxing, boxing. all the time. And, you know, we, we weren't planning on talking about it, but I, I hadn't thought of it when you mentioned T-Mobile Arena. Another sport that we have out here a lot, rodeos. Oh, rodeos. Yes. Vegas is pretty oh, much yeah. the rodeo capital. Now, admittedly, with the pandemic, we lost the major one this year thanks to restrictions we had on the crowds. However, every year we have multiple massive rodeos from the PBR I to the INFR which is the Indian National Finals Rodeo to the big one the NFR the National Finals Rodeo with millions and millions and millions of dollars in prize money going out for for uh, the competitors for all these events it's Oof. two solid weeks NFR is two solid weeks of rodeo 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 and it's all over town it's at the T-Mobile Arena it's at the uh, it's at the South Point Arena um, they are just all over the place, and uh, and it's fantastic. It's really entertaining. I I, I, I see a lot of it on TV. Um, it's uh, it's definitely entertaining, especially. Uh, um, I'm not too sure what is my my favorite to watch: the roping events or the bull riding. The bull riding is the bull riding is kind of like watching a NASCAR event. You're sort of kind of watching it for the crashes more than for <laughs> anything else. But the the bull riding definitely you watch that, and you as you're watching it, you feel your own bones breaking just watching. Um, yeah. And the roping one, it's just the speed and, and intricacy of it, how fast they pull it off. It's just fascinating to watch how these guys go from leaving a gate to three seconds later, this thing is tied up. I don't know how they roped it. Much as God, I couldn't get off a horse that fast unless I fell. Not, not only do they tie it up, it's the way they tie it up. Do they pick up the, the, the calf? Yeah, they so, pick it. It's, like, it's like, incredible. Like it's not, these guys are so big and so strong. These guys are athletes for sure. And it's, it's, it is. It's a blast. It is an absolute blast. Never thought I would have been a rodeo fan until I started watching some of this stuff. But it is a blast. And I will tell you, when this town gets covered in cowboys, cowboys are actually pretty cool. They're pretty oh, yeah. cool. They're super friendly, super nice. Um, salt of the earth. The, the rodeos are a great time. So coming out, if you want to come visit Vegas... Early December during the NFR, the National Finals Rodeo is a great time. Uh, but even October, November, when we have the PBR, I think PBR is usually in October's, and then the uh, INFR, the November. Indian National Finals Rodeo, is in uh, November, in November. Right? and and then there's there's smaller uh, uh, roping and 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 uh, yeah. smaller cowboy events throughout the year. I'm just listing off the big ones that that uh, occur right. at the end of the year, but they're absolutely fascinating, and they are a lot of lot of fun. Um, and that's another one, by the way, we didn't talk about was NASCAR. Yes, they have the uh, the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. That's right. Okay. We have and one of the major uh, races of the year is is held uh, is held here. Yeah. One of the uh, I think it's like points. I, I'm I'm not a NASCAR fan, but I believe it's they get points for every race or something along those lines. And we get free and, tickets. Um, yes, where we work out, we do get uh, we do get free tickets to go to. To the NASCAR, yes. Yeah. Um, I'm not. I personally am not interested in a two mile, 200 mile an hour left turn, but um, <laughs> it's it's supposed to be a great time. It really, really is. The oh, yeah. the biggest reason I'm I'm not interested in going to a live event is actually the noise. Um, oh, even at okay. my advanced age, I actually have very sensitive hearing, so the the 
the level of volume doesn't uh, interest me, and I certainly certainly not something I would take my toddler to. So, right. and I, I prefer if I go out to take the kid. Um, Before we uh, close this out, we also have uh, college sports. We have a, uh, you know, our uh, UNLV. We we have, uh, you know, of course the the basketball team, which is huge. Everybody loves watching the running rebels go go against the uh, what is the uh, the UNR? They're uh, the wolves. They have that that rivalry going on. Uh, Reno, I have no idea. Yeah, I, I believe uh, UNLV has a rivalry with. Uh, with Reno, they, 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 I forget what they call it. It's like the Wolf Pack versus the Rebels, but it's it's called something in specific. But there is a there is a rivalry between the two, and anytime the two play, whether it be in football or basketball, it's a some some it's intense. The, it's pretty intense. For the so, college students, at least. So that is the sports scene here in Vegas. I'm sure there's I'm sure there's minor things that we're missing, but bowling here and there. For, uh, for the, oh yeah, actually that's a good point. Um, Vegas is, I would even go so far as to almost call Vegas the bowling capital, too. Almost every casino has a, a bowling center, uh, if not two. Some casinos have, have bowling centers specifically for made just for professionals. They're not even open to the public. Mm -hmm. um, we have the, uh, the um, uh, professional, the, the USBC. The United US, States Bowling Congress. Yeah, the USBC is in Vegas. Uh, Probably three out of every four years for about six months or so of just constant, constant, constant bowling tournaments, bowling events. Uh, yeah. So bowling is definitely uh, something that's actually very, very big in in Vegas. With every casino having a bowling alley, just about it's oh, yeah. it's popular. It's very, 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 very popular. Uh, even this guy tries to bowl. It's it's not it's not very it's good, like but watching a monkey fucking football. But it's, <laughs> he well, tries. Well, coming from a guy who competes, you know. I don't compete. I play in a league. There's yeah. a big difference. Leagues are not what you might call competitive. I'm not tournament bowling. Um, <laughs> Either way, I suck. He's pretty dang good. Although there are people in my league that are averaging like a 240. Not bad. Pretty solid. Um, and that is our sports roundup for this episode of Vegas Fights. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. All right. I'm Louie, and uh, thank you for uh, joining us on uh, Sin City Living. This is Jason. Bye. See you next time.